babies. Welcome to Diaper Diaries, Mommy's original short stories. This is episode 29, Enchanted Cheers. Now get your bot bot and blankie, relax, and enjoy the story. In the bustling city of New Haven, a young woman named Tara hurried through the crowded streets. Tara's eyes darted back and forth, her thoughts racing as as fast as her heart. She clutched her phone tightly in her hand, scrolling through a seemingly endless list of messages. She was the coach of the local cheerleading team, the New Haven Twirlers, and they had a big championship game coming up. Tara's mind was a whirlwind of strategies, routines, and last-minute preparations. Her hair, usually pulled back in a sleek ponytail, was slightly disheveled, and beads of sweat glistened on her forehead. Her eyes fell upon a peculiar message from the team captain, Nikki, suggesting a controversial plan to ensure their success. Wearing diapers on the road trip to the game. Tara's eyebrows shot up in surprise. She read it again, the words refusing to make sense. Shaking her head, Tara chuckled nervously. Diapers, she murmured to herself. Has everyone gone mad? But as she weighed the pros and cons, she realized that Nikki had a point. The trip was long and the team's energy and focus were paramount. Fewer bathroom breaks meant more time for strategizing and bonding. Plus, they would arrive early enough to relax their minds and unwind from the bus ride. Tara bit her lip, considering the implications. It was certainly an unusual approach, but the team's safety was her top priority, and interstate gas stations had been targets in recent crime sprees. The last thing she would ever want is for one of her girls to get snatched. With a deep sigh, she typed out her reply. Okay, we'll give it a shot. The moment she sent the message, she felt a mix of relief and anxiety. How would the girls react? Would they trust her judgment? The day of the trip arrived, and Tara boarded the bus with a bag full of diapers she lucked up and acquired at a thrift store. The cheerleaders chattered excitedly, their laughter echoing through the bus aisle. They were dressed in matching t-shirts, their hair tied back in neat ponytails, and each one more eager than the last. Tara gathered them around, her expression a blend of seriousness and excitement. Girls, she began, I know this sounds weird, but for the sake of our performance and safety, we are going to wear these diapers during the trip. The room fell silent. The only sound was the rustle of the plastic bags. Tara took a deep breath, watching their faces for any signs of dissent. But to her surprise, they nodded in understanding, some even giggling at the absurdity of it all. Okay, she said with a smile, let's get comfortable. The girls began to change into the diapers, a bit awkwardly at first, but as the camaraderie soon turned it into a game of who could help who do it the fastest, Shyly, the girls each partnered up to help the others put on the diapers. The air grew erotic and steamy quite quickly. Tara's eyes widened and she noticed a piece of paper tucked into one of the packages. She pulled it out, revealing a handwritten message. Welcome to the adventure of a lifetime, it read. Follow the clues and you'll uncover secrets that will unite you like never before. Her heart racing, Tara shared the message with the team. Their excitement grew palpable. As the bus rolled down the highway, Tara read out the first clue. It spoke of a forgotten rest stop along their route, known for its peculiar landmark. The team huddled together, their whispers filled with excitement and a touch of trepidation. They had no idea what they were getting into, but the thrill of the unknown was intoxicating. Tara felt a peculiar thrill, the kind that came from stepping out of the ordinary and into the realm of adventure. As they approached the rest stop, Tara's eyes searched for the peculiar landmark mentioned in the clue. There it was, a towering statue of a cow dressed as a cheerleader holding a giant pom-pom. The team erupted in laughter, but Tara was cautious and suspicious. This was the first step in an adventure that would change their lives. Good thing that the diapers eliminated the bathroom stops because they now had unplanned ventures. Once off the bus, Tara noticed something peculiar. Each time the cheerleaders moved, their diapers seemed to emit a faint, pulsing glow. 
They were imbued with a mysterious power that seemed to resonate the girl's enthusiasm. Tara felt a tingle of excitement mixed with a hint of apprehension. What else could these diapers be capable of? The first clue had led them to a hidden compartment in the base of the cow statue revealing a USB drive with the next set of instructions. Back on the bus, Tara plugged the USB into the TV and the team watched in curiosity, their diapers glowing brighter with every beat of the music. The drive contained a video montage of legendary cheer routines and a cryptic message. Embrace the power within and let it fuel your performance. The girls studied the routines, their eyes lighting up with competitive fire. Tara couldn't help but feel a thrill of anticipation. They were on the verge of something extraordinary. They were no longer just cheerleaders, they were a force to be reckoned with. As they practiced the new moves, Tara noticed their skills were indeed heightened. Their jumps seemed to defy gravity. Their stunts were flawlessly executed and their voices resonated with an otherworldly enthusiasm that sent shivers down her spine. The bus ride was a mix of intense practice sessions and playful diaper changes. The girls grew more comfortable with the idea, teasing one another as they exposed their bare bottoms and fastened the diapers into place. Tara couldn't help but feel a sense of arousal as she watched them, especially Nikki, and how the power of the diapers affected their performance and their sisterhood. It was a bonding experience like no other, one that made Tara feel like a proud coach and a naughty participant in a secret ritual. As the bus pulled into the championship arena, the diapers glow had reached a crescendo. The girls looked at each other in amazement, their eyes sparkling with excitement. Tara had never seen them perform with such passion and precision, and she knew that tonight would be their night. They placed their special made extra large panty covers over their diapers to hide them and try to hide their glowing aura. The first performance was met with awe by the audience. The New Haven Twirlers' routine was flawless. Each move perfectly synchronized, each jump soaring higher than the last. Tara watched from the sidelines, her heart racing, as the diaper's power was unleashed. The crowd erupted into cheers, their energy feeding back into the girls and amplifying their abilities even further. The rival teams watched in disbelief, unable to match the twirlers' newfound prowess. As the competition progressed, the diapers' power grew stronger. The girls' spirits soared with every successful routine, their diapers glowing brighter with each victory. Tara began to notice something strange happening in the stands. People were drawn to them, their eyes unable to look away from the mesmerizing display of athleticism and unity. The twirlers had become the center of attention, and not just for their performance on the mat. The rival teams grew suspicious, and whispers of cheating began to circulate. Tara felt a pang of guilt, but she knew deep down that this power was something they hadn't anticipated. It was like they had uncovered a secret weapon, one that had nothing to do with fair play and everything to do with the mysterious artifacts they had unwittingly donned. The final round approached and Tara called a huddle. Girls, she said, her voice firm, we need to keep this under control. The diapers have given us an edge, but we can't let them define us. The team nodded in unison, their eyes focused and determined. They knew the truth about their newfound abilities and they were ready to face whatever consequences came their way. As they took the mat for their final routine, Tara noticed the rival coach, Coach Marcus, watching them with a sneer. His team, the Starlight Shooters, had always been their biggest competition. Tara had always thought he had an unhealthy obsession with winning. The music blared and the twirlers launched into their routine. Tara's eyes narrowed as she saw a faint shadow flicker around the edges of the mat. The shadow grew darker, coalescing into a sinister figure. Coach Marcus stepped into the light, revealing a set of blackened eyes and a twisted grin. He held aloft a gleaming object that pulsed with a dark, malevolent energy. Tara's heart sank as she realized the diapers were not the only secret enhancements in play here. Her diaper quivered with the power coursing through it, and Tara felt a sudden clarity. The diapers were ancient talismans, bestowed with the essence of cheer itself. 
These particular diapers were not meant to be used for mere convenience. They were a gift, a responsibility. She watched in horror as Coach Marcus's eyes grew wild, his own dark secrets seeping into the air. The Starlight Shooter's performance grew erratic, their move, moves fueled by a power that seemed to corrupt them from within. Tara knew they had to win, not just for the championship, but to save cheerleading from falling into the wrong hands. The final routine was a battle of light versus dark. Captain Nikki's diaper, glowing brighter than ever, led the twirlers in a routine that transcended m mere athleticism. It was a performance filled with pure, unbridled joy, each cheer and stunt resonating with the power of the talismans. The audience was on their feet, their cheers drowning out the sinister energy that Marcus's object emitted. Tara knew that their victory was not just about the title, it was about preserving the integrity of their sport. As the finale continued, Tara saw the shadowy figure of Marcus inch closer to the mat, his object pulsing ominously. Her heart racing, she whispered to her team, stay strong, keep smiling. They nodded, their trust in her unwavering. Tara took a deep breath and prepared Nikki for the most daring stunt of their lives, one that would either steal their victory or leave them vulnerable to the shadow's embrace. The music hit its crescendo and Nikki soared into a high-flying basket toss, the diaper's power propelling her higher than she had ever gone before. As she reached the peak of her ascent, she could feel the dark energy from Marcus's artifact trying to pull her down. With a fierce determination, she focused on the light of her team's cheers, the encouraging face of Tara, and their diapers pulsing in a symphony of pure cheer spirit. The crowd's energy grew into a roar, and Tara could see the fear in Marcus's eyes as he realized his ploy might fail. The Starlight Shooter's performance grew sloppier, their movements almost possessed, a stark contrast to the New Haven Twirler's grace. Tara's heart swelled with pride as her team executed each move with the grace of warrior angels. Marcus, his eyes ablaze with anger, made his move. He hurled the dark object at Nikki, aiming to knock her out of the air and disrupt their routine. The diaper's glow grew brighter, a shield of pure cheer surrounding her. Tara reached out with her hand in Nikki's direction and with the diaper's light reaching for the shadows. The object shattered into a thousand pieces against the barrier, releasing a wave of male malevolent energy that ricocheted back at Marcus. He stumbled, his face contorting in pain as the negative energy released from him and was consumed into the light. Nikki landed gracefully, her team catching her without missing a beat. They watched as Marcus writhed, realizing it was his own greed that had evoked the evil power into him. The Twirlers' concluding pyramid stood tall and unshaken, a beacon of hope in the remnants of the encroaching darkness. Tara looked into her team's eyes, each one shining with the light of the talismanic diapers. We did it, she whispered, and they each held tight to the final stance. The crowd all stood and erupted in applause and cheer. They all thought the glowing light and the shadowy darkness was some kind of special lighting for effect and were none the wiser. The diapers' light grew blinding, a force of nature that could not be tamed. Back in the locker room, Tara and the team members couldn't ignore the newfound bond that had formed between them. The diapers had not only enhanced their performance, but had also kindled a deep, sensual connection. They looked at one another with a mix of excitement and confusion, their hearts beating in a rhythm that seemed to be telling them something. Tara felt it too, a strange pull towards her team, a desire to be closer to them, to share in their power and their vulnerability. The first touch was accidental, a brush of skin against skin, as they helped each other change into their street clothes. It sent a shiver through Tara's body, and she saw the same reaction mirrored in the eyes of the others. It was as if the diapers had unlocked something within them, a craving for the warmth and comfort that only came from the people who had shared this bizarre, intimate experience. As the only two left in the locker room, Tara's eyes met Nikki's, and she knew that her captain felt the same way. They approached each other slowly, tentatively, their breaths hitching as their fingers reached out to trace the lines of the diaper beneath their clothes. Tara leaned in, her heart racing, both from anticipation and uncertainty of acceptance, and kissed Nikki softly. The rest of the team secretly watched from the entryway, their own feelings of attraction and confusion swirling into a powerful cocktail of emotions. 
and one by one the cheerleaders paired off exploring the newfound connections that had been sparked by the diapers. They touched and caressed, each sensation more intense than the last. Tara couldn't explain why this was happening, but she found its taboo more and more enticing. The diapers had not only brought them victory, but had also brought them together in a way that transcended friendship. The after party was in full swing, the sounds of laughter and music filling the New Haven Community Center. Tara had a surprise for her girls. She had brought a box of non-enchanted diapers, a playful nod to their unconventional bonding experience. Girls, she announced, her voice filled with excitement, I have a little gift for each of you. The cheerleaders looked at her with curiosity and excitement. Tara handed out the diapers, and the room erupted in giggles. They decided to have an impromptu diaper-themed slumber party right then and there. The floor was quickly covered with blankets and pillows, and the girls began to change into their new, real diapers. Tara felt a thrill watching them, their playful teasing and gentle touches revealing the depth of their newfound bond. The atmosphere grew more intimate as they all embraced the innocence and vulnerability that came with wearing the diapers. The lights dimmed and the music switched to a softer tune. Tara couldn't believe how natural it felt to be a part of this. The diapers had become a symbol of their unity and the shared secret that had brought them victory. As the girls snuggled closer, Tara felt her own diaper grow warmer, not just from the excitement of the night, but from the love and acceptance that surrounded her. They played truth or dare, the dares growing increasingly risque as the night progressed. The diapers became a playful prop, a way to explore boundaries and share intimate moments. There were dares to pee in them in front of each other, and it was a great way to break in the use of the diapers without feeling ashamed. It was a dare, plus they were all doing it. Tara watched as her team grew closer than ever before, the sensuality of their relationship strengthening with every giggle, touch, and whispered confession. With the night unwinding and the excitement calming down, each couple set up blanket beds with each other for some much-needed intimate cuddling. Tara and Nikki found a quiet corner to be alone. They used a couple of chairs to make a blanket tent for some privacy. Tara laid Nikki down and patted her diaper in the front. Someone is very wet and full, she said with a sensual grin. May I check, clean, and change you? Please, said Nikki without any hesitation. Tara untaped the diaper tabs and pulled the front of Nikki's diaper down. The diaper was saturated with her evening's dare urine. The smell was unmistakable. She pulled the diaper out from under her, and the cool, brisk air crossed her bare bottom, sending her a chill. Tara took a hand towel and patted her off, wiping all the cracks and crevices as slowly and sensually as she had the patience for. This isn't working very well. You need some wetness to clean it all off. She slowly ran her tongue down Nikki to moisten her skin. Then she wiped it again with the towel. There, that's better, she said as she looked up into the closed eyes and open lips of Nikki. Tara leaned in on top of her and began kissing her mouth tenderly at first, then more aggressive as the intensity and anticipation took over. They got no sleep that night as their own after party continued all night long. The End I hope you enjoyed this episode of Diaper Diaries. Please like, subscribe, and join me for my other stories. Find links in the description below for my eBay store, buy me a coffee, PayPal donate, Twitter, Discord, and Amazon Kindle with erotic versions, and also TikTok now. Here are QR codes to buy me a coffee and PayPal for easier use, and Mommy thanks you for any donations and the support for watching my videos. Good night, my babies!